Welcome back guys. We are off on another adventure. Eww. One <laughs> yeah. day, one nighter. Over to where are we going? Out into the national park. Yeah, Big Lagoon. Big Lagoon, that's in right. The Francois Perron National Park. Yeah, so heading out there. We went out there for the day trip. Um, you would have seen. And yeah, it looks really cool. Um, Sarah's got work again. You know, not tomorrow but the next day. So we thought we'd just cruise out there for a night. Hopefully, um, just do a bit of fishing and get out of the caravan park for a night, which would be good. Mm. Me and Lila are crook or something. Crook already. Hey, I've been crook <laughs> Can't more catch times a break. on this trip than I have in my whole life. <laughs> I don't know what's going on? Anyway, got like a, like, I don't know, stomach bug or something. I don't know what's going on, mm. but anyway, that's all right. We'll, uh, yeah, we're basically just heading out there. Hopefully do some fishing, kayaking, swimming, like it looks, like an epic spot. The wind's up, but just play it by ear. Yeah, well. it does seem to be. Someone was saying that it's sort of the well, season yeah. is really windy along this coastline, um, and we have definitely found that. I don't know if that is standard like every year, but from Exmouth, no, yeah. even from Cape Croydon or Crowdron, I still don't know how to pronounce it, yeah. all the way south has been quite windy most days. But um, I suppose perhaps that's a good break from um, like really hot and lots of flies. Yeah. So at least it kind of keeps it cool. It's not too bad. And hey, have a look at what we're doing just now. We're bloody on top of it. Getting the, um, the gas filled up over there. So <laughs> we're filling the gas up. We're, uh, we've learned our lesson. We're not going to run out of gas anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> we're on. Although it has been empty for a few days already. Hey, don't shh. People don't know that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're not as good as we claim to be. Oh. Reese and Lai sick again. I feel like it's every time we end up. I think it's like we've spent we're going a lot of time with. And maybe yeah, little, kid, little kids are giving us. We've spent a lot of time with other people and other kids while we've been here. And the same happened when we were in Broome, and both times we ended up sick afterwards. And it's probably because we're kind of like. I guess we don't see, we don't have other germs interacting with us that much, like while we're free camping and stuff. So when we come into busy, like family places like this, all the germs get spread. Just get smoked by little kid germs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like good. daycare, everyone says when they start daycare, they get really sick. So this is our version of it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all right. Doesn't matter. Is, is it that... a yummy banana? He's frothing this banana, eh? Oh, big bite, little monkey. <laughs> I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. I love to my loneliness. I guess that in the winter's bliss, take me back to before the new. I'm worried to take it out. up here there's a massive gap in sort of our, um, our lap between the last episode and this one um, if you're wondering why that is go and check out our um, episode on we made a big mistake and you'll see what happened there with our hard drive but um, an update with that is that we've got it sent away to Sydney and um, there are some tech specialists working on trying to get that data back from us or for us so we will let you know when we've got an update, but at this point, we are still waiting to hear what can be recovered. Um, but yeah, we'll let you know when we know more. Yeah, so pretty well just gonna be filming from like now, I guess, until <laughs> we find out what's <laughs> sort of happened and all that, yeah. like, all our other footage. But anyway, so we're heading out here. Um, we're almost there. Lila's kind of asleep. Kind of asleep, rubbing her face a little bit. It is a tight little track, so if you're not if you're not confident with a van and with full driving, um, 
yeah, it I'm might be, it might be a little yeah. bit it might be a little bit stressful if you're sort of not super confident, yeah. or if you've got a really big band. Yeah, definitely doable, but it's um, definitely doable. There's a few soft bits, but it's if yeah. you just take your time, let your tires down. Same old story, just take your time and cruise. Um, it should be fine. Like it's not it's not too too bad of a road. Yeah, just the the narrowness of the track is a little bit it can be a bit tricky, tricky but if you but... just Use your head, and most people are pretty switched on. Like, mm. usually they'll, if it's if they're not towing, they'll pull up somewhere to let you get past or whatever. Yeah. Finished setting up. Hopefully you can hear me all right with this wind. I check out. So this is where our camp is. Have a look out the back of that camp. Yeah, it's so beautiful here. Look at the drop off. All right, that fishing looks insane. Like along the, along this edge here. Be some big horses in there for sure. You anyway. know, Sarah's just de dusting a little bit. Oh, it gets so dirty. Pretty standard. Those of you who are watching, maybe not our videos because I'm I hope that we're pretty real with you guys, but some of the other travel videos out there, normal life issues go on, they right. totally go on, they're just a little different. Yeah. So it's not a fix if you've got if you, if you're wanting to escape like cleaning and um, all the issues that come with running a house and blah blah blah. You can't escape them, but the space is a lot smaller, which is really mm, nice. So it is. That's great. Hey, and also who knew? Lesson for all you punters out there that didn't know. <laughs> but uh, me being the goose that I am, went and bought boy nappies, thinking. Um, Thinking they're the same. Tailor made for boys. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not the same. So I thought, I figured, girl and boy nappy, surely, I mean, they didn't have any girl ones, so I went the boy ones thinking the only difference is the bloody Lion King and the colour. Um, not, I mean, not the case. Could, uh, who knows? Like, Lila hasn't had any big blowouts in them or like hasn't wet, over wet yeah. them or anything. So maybe it's just a gimmick, I don't know. But yeah. apparently they're different. So anyway, hot tip for you guys. Everyone probably already knows that, but don't buy boy nappies when you got a girl. <laughs> All right. What Reese is going to install? Oh yeah, I'll put that in at some point. We've got another um, another fan, which is going to go here. Yeah, what? What is this, this one again? Chem. Yeah, no, I think it was like Mojo. Oh, here it is. Bojo. Bora. Bora. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. Chem. Caframo Bora. Um, we were going to go another Sirocco, but the Sirocco is a little bit big for where we want to put it. So we want to, I'm going to take this light off um, and mount it up there in the corner because Lia's little sleeping quarters are here when she's not here. Um, so we just want like another little fan just to, to give her a bit of a uh, bit of fresh air, a bit of a bit of a cooling breeze. Yeah, through and, the night. Yeah, and also when we're having dinner or like once Lila goes to bed, she we originally, like before we go to bed, we put her in here, we close the blinds, um, but then we don't have any fan in here, so it gets a bit hot. So two fans, bought this little guy. Oh, we will let you know how it goes. I'll probably show you how I install it, unless I balls it up. Um, and yeah, should be sweet. Mm. Yeah, we're getting there. We're... I mean, it's been it's been a fair while we've been living in here, but the difference is, or the thing that makes it tricky is, our needs change as she grows. So we're sort of making little adjustments all the time. Mm. We've got a mirror, so now I've got a mirror. If you haven't noticed, I've uh, started doing a little something, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking after myself a little bit better. Yeah, so, we've, we've been flying blind the last few months. Right. Like, do I look okay today? Yeah, yeah cool. All right, let's, let's go. go. So yeah, anyway, we've got a mirror, so 
That's um <laughs> another recent upgrade. Yeah. All right, enough yeah. blabbing. Let's have these coffees and go for a swim. Just coming out for a quick fish. This, this drop off along here just looks insane. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck a little little bait out and then chuck the um little plastic around. I can have some big flatties probably sitting along that edge, but could be anything in here. Wide, whiting, um, yeah, a little emperor, anything. So, anyway, chuck some baits and lures around, see what happens. That's why I don't love bait fishing because you just end up catching so many little shitty crap fish. But anyway, I'll try and uh, keep that out there. I might put a bigger bait on um, and hopefully I can get a few casts in with the plastic. <laughs> down here the wind has dropped down a little bit it's um just the most beautiful blues very peaceful fish on again Wait, well, let's go see what steady got Kind of like a uh, spangled emperor, but blue band emperor. <laughs> Another one. Gosh. They're biting and just like. Can you see that fish? They look nice, sir. They are quite pretty. I still can't get over the the colours here, from blue to white to red. Just beautiful. Yeah, cool little fish. He's like yeah. a darker one. Yeah, they're like a pretty little thing, eh? Hey? Put a sand all over him on that side. Oh, oh he bit me! <laughs> Take that! Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, on again. This one looks a little bit better. It's a little flatty, I think. <laughs> it is. A little flathead. Oh, good. I think the legal size over here is 300 mil, but. I, I wouldn't take I wouldn't take a flatty 300 mil. Like he's he'd be legal. He's probably like 320 or something. Far out. He's, he's energetic. Chill out. He wants to live. Yeah. He's going to. Snap well, you got a good variety of fish at least, mm. even though they're in the little. Uh, wow, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. Super nice fish. Gorgeous. There's thousands of them in there. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Those bye fish. Oh, yeah, get rid of them. Uh, bye fish. Anyway, that'll probably do. I'm a bit bored of catching those fish. Might even um. Go and have a break. Yeah. I'm gonna drink water. Might jump in really quick. Oh, say it again. Big dive. Big dive. Let's see best dive. Oh. Oh, oh. man, you can do better than that. Oh, it's so nice. It is, hey. Perfect temperature. Well, I'll a big dive. You got it. Oh, stand up. There you are. Come on, Wobbly. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How nice is it? Take two. Yeah, hang on. Yeah! Hey. Watch Mum's dive, ready? Big dive. Ready? Um, that if was you a, go, that was a go, three out of go ten. back like a fair few episodes to our 
Great Northern Highway little mini series and I did the most horrendous belly flop. So now I'm constantly trying to make up for my <laughs> terrible yeah. diving. Let's see, number two, big, big high dive. Oh. <laughs> that was horrible, dude. Did you not go to swimming school or something? <laughs> Yeah, you jumped about a hundred mil then. <laughs> Did your feet sink into the sand or something? Yeah, a little bit. No, the, oh, the, the, drop, the drop off happened a lot yeah. earlier than I was expecting. So, you need to jump. You actually need to jump yeah. you before ready? you dive in. Alright, here we go. Oh mate, give it your best go. <laughs> That's better. There you go. It actually came out of the water. <laughs> You're elegant. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> best um best toys are not toys. <laughs> <laughs> Must be dinner time, hey? Yeah mate. So we are tonight we're gonna be doing a laksa, chicken and prawn. You all prepared, so prepared everything. Chef yeah, Reese but... has got it going on, as usual. Well, I'm sick, so I want some soup. And, yeah, pretty simple. So, anyway, chuck it all together. I think Wise on the spag bowl and run hey, away. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Not on the road. <laughs> she's, she's just hit the age where she wants to run and, like, has no concept of what's a road and what's not, so... Mm. That is um, a new challenge. Hey, hot tip for you. If you want to peel your ginger, you probably already know this, but use a spoon. So good. That's I a did treat, not know mate. That. <laughs> sure, I didn't know that, but anyway. Do you know Hey, hey. Stop. Stop. Hey, you're a pest. Why don't you bring the shell to show daddy? Hmm? It <laughs> smells so good. The, it's cooking yet. the ginger, it's cooking, no, the yeah. ginger smells so good. Yeah, it's really yummy. Go on the camp oven. Yeah? I'm hoping, not sure how the wind's gonna go. Um, Cause it's like, seem to just be getting gale force winds consistently at the moment. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try the camp oven just because, because it's cast iron, it holds a fair bit of heat. So I'm hoping with the wind around, it'll uh, stay hot enough. Mm. So what do you got? You got chicken, Chico, prawns. Some, some prawns. I just caught these recently <laughs> from the freezer section at IGA. Um, couldn't get, usually, like you want to use bean sprouts? Yeah, I think so. Bean sprouts, is that what they're called? Anyway, bean sprouts. Couldn't get them because small town shops. Um, so these are snow pea bean sprouts or something. So anyway, they'll go on top. They'll be all right. Got some chili. Got one sole mushy that I was sort of chuck in there anyway. Some lime. Yum. Lots of paste. Cream. Good brown sugar. Bit of fish sauce. And just some chicken stock. Sounds good. That's good. Simmer. Oh yeah? You just chuck your hot water on them at the end. In. Coconut cream. Look at our favorite things. These, um, they look pretty gnarly when they're not cooked, but these are prawn chips. Now, I'm gonna bang a couple of them on. Why, uh, well, that's out there simmering. Look at it. How good is that? And um, we'll be on. What do you reckon? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but um, my mum is German, so I'm trying to tr to at least expose Lila a little bit to German. Yeah. I can speak German, but 
a little bit dodgily. No, like I don't, I don't have very good grammar or anything. So I don't know if I can really teach her German. But anyway, we've got say, some German say, books. Say uh, please like and subscribe in German. <laughs> say Come that. on. Mate. <laughs> anyway, um, we got a couple of German books just secondhand um, in Sydney when we were visiting my sister. But if you um, are teaching your children German um, and you have any recommendations of any good kids books, let me know. Um, or even any like cool little like apps or anything maybe as she gets a bit older. Um, Mum's gonna speak with her which is really awesome when we like obviously we don't see her every day. And I'm trying to read a little bit with her in German and speak even with my dodgy German a little bit with her. But yeah, if you've got any tips for that, we would be so um, grateful for anything that you could recommend because, um, yeah, I'm not a native speaker, so I find it difficult to, to sort of talk conversationally without a native speaker there to sort of keep it flowing, if you know what I mean. When I'm talking with my mum or something, it's not as hard because she's always sort of talking back and fills in the gaps where I don't know the word or whatever. But by myself, it's quite tricky, so yeah. Hit us up if you've got any recommendations. Get, get a little bit of oil hot in a pan and um, just chuck them straight in. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm looking down eight, nine, ten, eleven, I reckon. 11 seconds. There you go. Here you go, you heard it here first. 11 <laughs> seconds. And these things are like, you can pretty well eat infinite amounts. I don't know, like, <laughs> so I'm not sure where they go when, once you swallow them, but they just sort of disappear in Well, they're just like air, air inside them. Anyway, they're quite yummy. Lila likes them yeah, too. They are the best things in the world. Another hot tip for you. I know I'm full of hot tips. Um, but I will give you one more for free. Put a bit of salt, a bit of salt on them. A little bit of salt and a bit of paprika, smoked paprika. Put this on everything, that's why it's empty. Almost empty. Bit of smoked paprika on there. You will thank me later. <laughs> so bloody good. We have had a few people asking us too about um, like cooking inside and stuff. We do, I definitely, would recommend having an outside burner. Ideally, one of those like slide out outside kitchens, that would be amazing. But we do cook a lot on the inside one. And like, for example, what is it now? November, we're like middle, is it November? Yeah, we're like middle of November. And this Coral Coast region is blowing a gale like all the time. It's quite, it's like, apparently it's like windy season here. So often we want to sit inside because with Lila and stuff it just gets a bit chaos when it's blowing a gale outside. So we eat inside a lot and also the Weber and the burners and stuff sometimes sort of try to blow out if it's too windy outside. So 100% I would not give up our inside burners ever. Like I think no, they're amazing. You, need them. Yeah, 100%. you definitely need them. But if you've got the option to have one, at least one outside, I would How's also that? go for that. I think that has helped a lot especially for um if you're frying stuff i find like the oil splatter is a bit annoying the smell is not an issue though we had a few people tell us before we left that we wouldn't want to cook inside because it stinks the van out i would disagree with that but just, the oil splatter is annoying it, yeah. like you have to it makes I've for been, a big I've cleanup full of dirty nappies and like my underarms and stuff <laughs> we, it stinks in here like full time so <laughs> Yeah, so the smell is definitely not an issue. It's more just the clean up. Yeah. Um, and if you've got something that's sort of like quite smoky, it sets the smoke alarm off and fills the van with smoke. So obviously that's not ideal. So anything that's like frying is better to do outside. Everything else is so fine to do inside. Mm. So yeah, would recommend at least one burner outside and one burner inside. And 100%. then whatever else you've got is yeah, awesome like, addition. If it's, if, it's, if, it's rain, if, if it's raining and stuff. Oh. Would you like another prawn chip? Oh my god. Can you say please? Say thank you. Oh, Good girl. Oh, that's okay. Good girl. You want one? Say thank you. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Piece of 
honestly. They're quite good. Bloody delicious, eh? Put some paprika and salt on them and. Alright. Reese will become a bottle of paprika or paprika one day. He puts it on everything. Smoke paprika. So good. <laughs> I'm not sure if we showed you, but that's the little single burner we got. It's been working really well. Looks sick. But yeah, the wind, if the wind is like howling through here, then it does sometimes have issues. And so does the weather to like stay alight. Yeah, the weather struggles, eh? Hmm. I'm not really sure what the go is there. But... A little limo in there. Straight on top. A little limo. And then usually you'd put bean sprouts on there, but we're going snow pea sprouts. Don't know what they're going to be like, but they're going. They look on. yummy. Bit of chili. Bit of chili. They're on there. That's it. Four first. Get some noodle. Yeah, it's not as actually as spicy as I thought it was going to be. That's not spag bowl. Is it better than spag bowl? <laughs> yeah, you want some of this? It's yummy. There is some out there in the pot store. <gasps> so yeah, that pretty well wraps up tonight. Um, or today. Yeah, a bit oh, of a chill yeah. one. We'll catch us in the morning. Good morning. The sun is just rising, but I'm up and I'm ready to go because I've got a wedding to go to. I've left Reese and Lila in bed, um, but I have a wedding to go to. Um, my beautiful friend Josie and her fiance Sam are getting married today in Mexico, <laughs> in the evening in Mexico, which means 6 a.m. here. So um, I've got a Zoom date to join their wedding, which I'm super excited about. So, so grateful for. Um, I guess the, the, one of the best things that's come out of COVID and like the technology we've got now is being able to join stuff like on the other side of the world when you can't be there. So um, this is our second digital wedding that we've joined in the last few months. So I'm really excited that I can do that. But I don't have great reception where we were at Big Lagoon. So I'm on the hunt for some better 4G. So I've got 10 minutes to hunt and find some good 4G before the reception starts. <laughs> okay, I'm in just in the nick of time. I've got five minutes and I found myself a little roadside picnic stop <laughs> with beautiful 4G. So here goes. <laughs> It was so good. I had my little teary. <laughs> it was beautiful. I'm so glad I got to be part of it, even just remotely. Good. How about you guys? How's your morning? Good. She didn't sleep at all after he oh, left. Well, thank you for having her while I watched the ceremony. <laughs> Pancakes? Yeah. 
So welcome with Uh, a a flipping over, but sneaky little mm. baco in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Test. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Sweet and salty. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Nice. I, uh, I think it's an American thing. Is it? Maybe not to cook them in the pancake, but like. Isn't that a thing? Maple bacon? I don't know. Yeah, it is so. actually. I think it might be. Lila's dropped hers in the dirt. And there's a, you got a bit of seasoning on that, mate. A bit of red dirt seasoning. <laughs> don't eat that. Yeah, no good. Have a new one, though. Here you go. I'll swap you up. So, winner. I'm not going to pretend that I haven't already eaten one of them. They're so good. So, yeah, it is good. whoever told us about them. <laughs> dog. Where's the dog? That's right. Reese is having a sleep. <laughs> Bit of a long night last night, wasn't it? Lila's still sick, so wasn't sleeping very well. Go. Do you want it? So we've moved to the picnic area because it is now. 20 past 10 so we move because checkout is like 10 10 30 so um that just means someone else can use the site for the day because we're not staying tonight um so we're in the picnic area we're gonna have some morning tea lila's just woken up from her nap we actually all had a little nap which was super nice <laughs> so we'll have some morning tea there you go that's it <laughs> we'll have some morning tea i'm hoping either we'll have a swim or a little kayak in big lagoon and then, um, yeah, I guess start tidying up, ready to head back to Denham for work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two more days here. I'm actually with the really little kids tomorrow, which I'm excited and a little bit nervous about because I don't have all that much experience with really little ones, like year one. <laughs> so um, that will be really cool. I will let you know how that goes. Um, but, yeah. That's sort of the afternoon that we've got on today, so should be lovely. <laughs> yeah, let's go have some morning tea. So, you probably can't hear me all that well because I've got the water housing on. But we've come down for a swim and the wind has definitely picked up. You can see how much more um, choppy this bay is. But throughout the day the water has warmed up and it is so beautifully warm right now. This like shallow stretch is like not bath water, like comfortable, nice warm. Like you could just lay in it all afternoon. So we might do that. <laughs> so that's us guys yeah i think we'll probably uh finish it up there for this week we're um just gonna go back and 
head back into town probably, air up and stuff, but you don't need to see any of that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed, maybe got some inspo to get out and adventure, and we'll catch you next week. Yeah, see you guys. Thank you.